Hello beautiful Virgos, how are you today? We are here with your top secret cross watchers video. Everything you would like to know about your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions towards you. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna Wilder Hart. This is Irish Donna Caro, and I want to welcome all new visitors as well as thank my returning subscribers. Thank you. So let's see what your reading says here. Well, the cards want to speak, Virgo. All right. So the very first thing your person feels or their thoughts, excuse me, we're going to start with thoughts. They want to marry you. How does anybody get that for the first card out of the deck? Virgo, you are the one. Okay, highly desirable Virgo, sexy Virgo. Virgo is the most photogenic um, ascendant sign of all of the astrology wheel. Okay, the Hierophant, another marriage card. Are you already married to this person? What is going on, Virgo? This person has their heart set on you. Look at this Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups actually is heart space, but they, they feel that you might love them back in return. So that's what they think of you. The Nine of Swords says that they've been watching you. See all the eyeballs? They've been watching you and they've been very worried. So your person in their heart space feels as though they've done something wrong or that they've lost you. They also feel very much in love with you. This is a lover's card. Lover's card is also means making a choice, but this is a soulmate card, and it's the heart space, you know? They feel as though you are their exquisite, exotic lover. All right, so what else do they feel in their heart space, Virgo? They feel lonely without you, Hermit, and there you go, Virgo. Look at this, the Hermit card. That's your energy. They love their hermit. They really, really love you. Look at that. I am going to clarify everything because as we all know, those of us who watch tarot, participate, the clarifiers are everything. They can change a story, but they also fill it in. All right. The three of wands is what they intend to you, with you. They want to have a future with you. They have picked you. So that is what their intention is, is to manifest you and the mundane plane, but look at those cards of marriage. I've been getting all these marriage energies. I don't know what COVID did, but okay, the Emperor card. So they intend to be very strategic. The female Emperor is someone who really knows how to get what they want. And you can see that she's pulling all the strings here with all these people down here. So your person might be an Aries. Your person may be a, um, let's see here, we have Aries, we have Gemini, we have Taurus, we have, um, let's see, Aries again. We have three Aries cards. We also have the card of the Knight of Cups, which is, a Pisces energy, and of course, Virgo energy with the Hermit. So let's pull out one more card for how they, what they intend with you. They want a rebirth on this relationship. They want to transform the relationship. So for some of you, this will be about a relationship that needs to be reborn to survive. But for others of you, this is just your person being madly in love with you and very concerned because it looks like for most of you, you've had some sort of breakup. At a very minimum, there have to be changes to make the relationship work. So they intend on... Uh, they intend on the change, very much so. So if you've asked your person to make changes, they are willing, ready, and able to do so. I like the Hermit card and the attentions because it really speaks to the fact that they have a plan. Virgo always sees all the difficulties, right? You guys do. You see 100 miles down the road when everybody sees, you know, one mile down the road, but not Virgo. Okay, so let's see their actions, High Priestess. Keeping their emotions very calm, being very nurturing, being very sweet with you, being uh, kind of quiet, waiting for you to really give them a signal, okay? They definitely don't want to rush in and upset anything, so let's see here. 
Let's see. We have the Three of Cups, a reunion. So that is the action they will take. It looks as though they're going to try to plan a party, a reunion. They're trying to get it, going to get together with you. If you've been a part and you're both invited to a wedding, this would be the card that speaks to the fact that you have the ability to reunite with them. The Three of Cups is oftentimes the bridesmaids at the wedding, okay? So, interesting energy. Now, for some of you, one person, two people, you might be in a wedding, you might both be in a wedding, and this person wants to woo you to win your heart to marry you. All right, Nine of Cups, eat, drink, be merry, enjoy, have a celebration. Nine of Cups is the ultimate group party. It's community. It's all about being out there, a public couple. So they plan on showing you off to all their friends. But I really feel for many of you, the way that this has opened up, I really feel that this is a relationship in which your person wants to advance. And, you know, you've told them that, there's changes that have to be made and they are ready okay so let's go ahead and clarify these cards let's see virgo what is going on with your person all right so why do we have the four of wands here huh okay so somebody left okay somebody left a home somebody left something behind it looks like there might have been children involved here or there are children involved but i do get the tower card it looks like the tower came down brought this happy family down there is the energy of a shock and awe and surprise and not the good kind of awe the ten of swords this person felt like really stabbed in the back this person felt like their whole world was just washed out from beneath them, Virgo. So for those of you who are married, your person is devastated. If, you know, it doesn't look like you want to stay in the marriage with the death card and with the tower card. So your person is all up in their head. This is Gemini energy. You know, they want to, they want to take action, but they don't know what to do. The hanged man, they're trying to look at things from a different perspective. Pisces energy. Tell us why else, why are the marriage cards here at the beginning of this relationship? Yeah, you were once in a happily ever after kind of relationship. We have the nine of cups. Your person wants it back. Looks like somebody walked out to seek a new love. I get the ace of coins. Your person wants to win you back. I get the full card. Yep, they want a new beginning with you. The Ace of Cups with the Three of Cups, the Ace of Coins with the Three of Cups is usually an engagement set. They're not next to each other, but it does show that energy. The King of Cups is how they feel about you in their heart space. But look at this. They're so freaked out. This person is devastated because we have the Nine of Swords energy. And then we have the King of Cups energy. This says to me that your person thinks they're watching you as you've gone off with another lover, which may be the Knight of Cups energy, that you have a new love, that you have somebody that's, that you are interested in and that you left them behind for you. I mean, excuse me. You left them behind for your cross watcher. So we get... Yeah, so we get them really watching you. Okay, so let's see. We also have the cards of the magician. They're trying to manifest you. That is Gemini and Virgo energy. So you may be dealing with a Gemini. There's a couple of Gemini placements. The Nine of Wands says that you have fire in your, and they have fire in their belly for you. They're trying to figure out what moves they can make with that big chess piece to win you back. This person's really bent on it. This person wants to nurture you. That's their intention to win you back, to show what they can do, to show you what they can manifest in the way of a dramatic change. Okay. So let's see what else we have here. The three of wands energy is their intention with you. They're planning a future with you. The devil energy though, toxicity. It looks as though this person may be very controlling. That may be, it may have been an issue for you. That's Capricorn energy. It's complementary 
to your energy as an earth sign energy. Why is the devil card here? Four of Cups. The Four of Cups card is really a card of boredom, of just wanting to disengage. Of It's kind of a bad attitude in a way. It's like, well, I don't want to today. You know, and, and it shows that your person really is an empress, you know, in their own right. They're very attractive. People want them. They're highly desirable. And so I want to know. Yep, and here you go. They do intend to show you how much they love you. They really want to be brought in from out of the cold, Virgo. Your person feels like they're freezing out there in that cold. Just freezing. Well, okay. So, what do we need to know about this person? Well, I'm going to finish this, and then we're going to do a mini spread about the backstory here, okay? Because this is this is a pretty dramatic reading. Let's see why the king of, let me see, yes, the emperor card here. The female emperor, why is it here in terms of your person's intentions? Let's see. Well, your person is accustomed to being single. I do think that they have a position of authority. I think that they know how to organize. I think they know how to renovate. I think they know how to, to solve problems on a larger scale. And they're going to try to use their good luck. The wheel of fortune falls in your favor. And so it does speak to the fact that if you're willing to take them back, they're going to do everything and anything that you ask of them, Virgo. The two of coins, yeah, see? This person may have juggled you at some point. They may have had a secret affair of their own. So it really speaks to the fact that you don't really feel completely comfortable with them. Let's see. There's a, it looks like a lack of trust, truly, you know. So these are their actions. So Ace of Wands, they're going to bring a big wand to you. They're going to make a big offer. They're going to hope that you choose them over. They see themselves as a high priestess. They're hoping that you're going to choose them over your Knight of Cups, okay? Knight of Cups energy. So it does show they have competition. They know they have competition. You are juggling too, and they're going to have to make a pretty big offer. Pretty enthusiastic offer is what they think. Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here for their actions? Hierophant, see? You have Hierophant twice. This person, if you're trying to get a divorce, they won't make it easy, I will tell you that. They're going to fight. They're going to say, let's go to counseling. Let's rebirth this. They're going to do everything in their heart. Now, also, for those of you who've been divorced, who've ended this, your person is still looks as though they're going to try to come back and win you back. Now, you know, that's going, that part is up to you. This is just a Cross Watchers video. So this is one side only, and for those for whom it resonates, I feel that you will spot this reading in a heartbeat. Okay. Ten of Cups. Look at the Nine of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Cups happily ever after. This person is not giving up. So let's see what the Oracle cards have to say. What is going on in this relationship? This has been the most complicated of the series this time. So Virgo, what is what do you need to know about this? Door to spirit. Okay, so spirituality is the key to success, is a doorway to making the right decision. It, you know, it certainly looks like there was once upon a time a very, very happy marriage here. Community, yeah, it's, there's a lot about community. So I don't know whether you have extended family, but community is going to be very supportive of the relationship. Uh, and also when we look at the Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups, those are really community cards. They're really cards that say that you're very active, that you have lots of family, lots of friends. Uh, that would really be happy if the two of you make it. Again, you have to make your own decisions. So I'm not suggesting anything. I'm just pulling up messages from Spirit. Seventh Chakra, Archangel Uriel protecting you. So Virgo, this is going to be your call. Your person is all in. They want you. They'll do almost anything to get you. It's just going to be your decision. Let's go ahead and see what we what we have here for 
a few cards. Let, I'm going to get a different deck. Let's see. Wisdom of the Oracle. Let's see what we have here. Wisdom of the Oracle. What is the advice to you, Virgo, now? To you. What is the advice to you about this relationship, about your experience in this relationship? Is it worthy of saving? Let's see what we have here. Regeneration. Ooh. So that's a death card. That's the death and rebirth, because that's what death is, right? There's always a rebirth. We see the skeleton with the flowers being reborn. So it does say that there are major changes, growth, that are required in this relationship. And, you know, it's okay. You get to walk away if you want to. It's up to you. You really do. Yeah, between two worlds. You're really quite, this is a very uncomfortable situation. I feel as though people around you are pulling for the relationship and it just may not be good for you. Yeah, happy, happy. You want to be happy. And so however you see the happiness in your life unfolding is a choice that you will make. It will be a good choice no matter which choice you make. It looks like you will find divine happiness. Sydney, love Virgo. Bye-bye. Take care.